right, yes, you started the video in the right spot. I forgot to start the GoPro, but luckily we have some third person to show the start here. So uh, we're going to get right to that. And it may be a little blurry, but just bear with me. At least you guys get to see it. Got a little squeezed off there. And we're going to go into the woods into third. So back to the GoPro. I realized it as soon as we started. Hit the GoPro. Hit the button. Started recording. And then we got out into some slick field sections. So as soon as we popped out of those woods, it was like moisture all over the place I think they may have watered it so uh, just right there by the start so that way there wasn't dust but anyway we went down and we're back to about fifth place now I think so got some catching up to do right off the start uh, but start the actual start wasn't bad but then as after that crash we fell back please so got a little bit of catching up luckily it didn't take us too long to pick the bike up and uh, we can we can still see everybody up ahead. So obviously you guys can see the dust here and I was really hoping to get a good start and get out of the dust, have some clear track, but now that we've got the dust and people are in front of us, we're just going to have to fight through it, try to make moves fast and efficient, and um, try to get out of this dust a little bit. And it wasn't too bad out in the woods, but it was definitely a lot worse than uh, yesterday. So if you guys haven't already, also be sure to check out yesterday's video. It's kind of a uh, vlog style of the day before this. So this series races Saturday and Sunday, so we are here for both days. and. I'll film the video for each day, so be sure to check that out as well. So right now what's going through my head is I'm in fifth place. It's first lap. We got a lot of racing left to do. Don't do anything stupid, but if you get the opportunity, definitely take it. So out in the woods, there was definitely enough dust to be annoying, but not enough to really be where you can't see. So. Yeah, it was it was not the greatest, but it also wasn't wasn't the worst dust I've ever seen. But with that being said, there was little things that you couldn't see, like that rock my front tire just hit going up the hill. So uh, just the like the little things were were super annoying. favorite things on the, on the course there you just kind of like wheelie up it and uh, it was a lot smoother than just slamming into the side of it so just little things to make the track smoother and um, maybe even a little bit faster too so coming down this hill I saw in practice there was like a little log double going down the hill so I was like all right I'll try it here if it's faster we may make a pass but obviously it wasn't uh, just a little fun something I knew I wasn't going to get passed by anybody because I was the last one kind of in this pack of people, so just having a little fun back there. This section was probably the worst dust that we had right there. Um, you couldn't really see, so I had to back off a little bit. All right, 
right. So Caleb's getting um, pretty antsy and creative with his lines. He's uh, trying to make some passes up in front of me here. And I'm thinking the same thing, but he's kind of seeing things before I do. And uh, it's, it's just kind of a waiting game till I see the, that good line, but then I have to be close enough in the dust so it's all just like man I need need something to happen happen for me the nice thing is though the leader isn't really walking away from us we've uh, kind of all been staying right with each other here so once again Caleb's up there taking some lines trying to make a pass uh, and then I'm back here just kind of hanging out a little bit seeing what's uh, gonna happen and then trying to make a pass on on him as well so I see off to the side here we just kind of go around that tree so might as well uh, take a little bit of the trail off and they were kind of slowing up for everybody so Obviously, you can't take too much off, but um, just chopping off little things like that makes a big difference. So now we are up to fourth and uh, just trying to make some more moves on this first lap. Um, I don't want to be in the dust all day. It's only going to get worse. I know I've already said it, but the dust is not ideal. As uh, Doug, the leader, he overshot that corner, so. Huck and Jesse got around him, but uh, I didn't end up being able to, to sneak around him too. So we had a lead change, but nothing changed for me. Alright, so we're on to the PM only section now, and uh, going through here, I knew there was a an iffy line coming down this hill, but I wasn't sure about it. And uh, I was like, man, I just gotta go for it. So I'm just gonna kind of walk beside him here. And then uh, he had a little bit of a turn to make. So I was just able to kind of kind of get the hand on that and uh, make a pass on Doug there. But definitely didn't really like that line, but with, with it being dusty and everything like that, that was one of the spots that wasn't dusty, so I figured I had to take advantage. All right, so up ahead, you can see Jesse and Huck are just going at it side by side. And uh, I don't know how they didn't splash each other with water there. I'm sure they did, but I don't know how it didn't ruin their vision. Sideways whiskey throttle into the tree. Jeez, Jesse. All right. Wow. That was that was gnarly. So I, after the race, I made sure he was okay. And then right there, I asked him and turned my head, and he was moving already, getting up. So I knew he was good. But that was a gnarly crash. He whiskey throttled straight into that tree. So we have now made it up to second. So um, got to couple people on some lines and then that last one um, just kind of got it handed to me but we're up in the second and um, the dust is a little bit better now because we only have one person in front of us so we can see a little bit better too here and we're gonna go on to the second lap and definitely know what the tracks like now so I want to make a move and uh, and try to try to put the hammer down and uh, just get away from everybody get out of the dust and ride my own race So 
so part of the property has um, some good dirt and maybe even a little bit of sand and then part of the property this section here has some rocks and uh, it's it's a little chunky so Huck right there he uh, had a little bobble I think he may have hit the edge of that log and uh, I was able to hop around him there so now it's just time to time to try to put the hammer down like I said charge away and uh, come away with it so that's what we're hoping for right now as I overshoot shoot this corner so luckily there was nobody right behind me Coming up here is my favorite section of the trail, and I showed it yesterday in that video, but I was on the 125, so it sounds a little bit cooler, um, so be sure to check that out. The 125 is so fun, but I decided to race the 250 today. Um, had a little bit of a more technical track, and uh, wanted, to, wanted to put a little bit better time, lap times down for today, so we ended up riding the 250 today. 125 is a lot of fun, but 250 is definitely a little bit faster. It would be a little bit faster too if I if I would hit those good lines there. But. <laughs> Missing a couple lines, but not a huge deal. Um, we've got a little bit of a gap now, and we're just trying to keep pushing here and just push throughout the entire race is the goal. Coming into uh, the end of the race, I was able to uh, extend the gap a little bit and just put my head down, ride my own race, and we got the win. So it was a good day racing. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. So stay tuned, and uh, be sure to subscribe, comment, tell me what you think, guys. So see you guys later.